Hi, Scorpio. What's going on, you guys? <clears throat> so, let's do a reading. We are using the beautiful creatures. All right. You're going to get three of these today, okay? I'm going to do a bit of channeling. And Spirit is telling me to face all but the first card down, okay? If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. I do have another channel. It's called Blue Tarot, B-L-U Tarot. Six is going to be significant here. Six is going to be significant here, okay? Okay, so there are some of you here that wants to be heard. You want to be heard. It's like you're saying, I understood you when you needed me to understand you. But now that I want to be heard, you're not listening. Now that I want to be heard, you're not listening. One second, y'all. So, you have the power to um, unleash the tower if you want it to. You know that this is your energy to change or transform um, a connection if you want it to. You have the power to do that with this tower being here as the main message. But I feel like you are tired. It feels like to me that you are um, with the hanged man here. The hanged one here. Let me bring this over so that you can see it. It feels like to me that you are tired. Exhausted. Um, it feels like you are tired of being misunderstood. So I'm going to read the tower and the hanging one the hanging one look within yourself you hold the power to do anything you please the only question i have for you is where will you invest your power keyword perception upright in a reading, this card represents seeing things from a whole different perspective. I feel like you've seen things from a whole different perspective. You've opened your mind up too, and now you want to be heard. Now you want to be understood. And because of that, you are doing some sort of um, investing, investigating, excuse me, um, uh, analyzing calculating okay it says don't lose yourself within an illusion or become slave to people who are nothing more than holograms learn how to distinguish what is real and what is fake and that's why i believe the tower is here because the tower is representing um your ability to demolish or build on top of what is um what was or what could be in the future okay learn how to distinguish what is real and what is fake additionally learn to sacrifice old points of view to be able to gain a new point of view i feel like that is something that you've done scorpio and this is the reason why spirit is acknowledging this and bringing this up okay see things such as people and situations for what they really are now 
it feels like to me intuitively that you saw some parts of you that you didn't like in a connection in a union with someone and you decided they've always complained or they're complaining about or they're making an ob observation and have spoken to me let me take complaining off the table and they have spoken to me about it and so i'm going to change this i'm going to look within and see who i um who i am when what they see see what they see about me and so because of that i feel like you decided I'm going to make those sacrifices and change those points, those parts about me. And you have, but it feels like to me with this hanging one here that you're now not being heard. It's like, okay, so now let's flip the coin. And now you listen to what I have to say. And now you make the sacrifices and you make the changes. But for some reason, it's feeling like that this person isn't making those changes because spirit has you in the tower um energy which i'm going to read right now do me a favor and please look below you're above great heights but when you fall what will you expect what will you hold on to for dear life and that's where you're at right now upright in a reading, this card advises advises that you need to learn how to expect the unexpected. So you may not receive what you wanted from this person, but you've made some changes. It either is going to be a good thing for this person or for the next person that you um, that you uh, uh, become. An, ooh, Spirit said a bond. You have a bond with, so I'm going to say it like that. Stop pretending like nothing is ever going to happen to you. Remember that what goes up must come down. When you are at the highest of your achievement, and I feel like that's what you've done, you've done some things that you, you've changed some things in your life, Scorpio, and you're elevating, okay? All right, so remember that it can come crushing down upon you under the right or wrong circumstances. This card also denotes release. If, you're, if you suppress or bottle pain, memories, or grudges for long, and we hold a grudge. A Scorpio can hold a grudge. Let me tell you a story. This happened yesterday. Y'all don't have to listen to this. You can tap the right side of your screen, but I'm going to tell the Scorpios that want to listen this story. So we can hold on to something. Yesterday, I got into a little dispute with my baby yesterday. Right, so he's talking to me, we're talking to each other, and basically it got a little heated. Not too heated where um this is basically our kind of like our first little big heated situation. So I'm laying down, I'm upset, I'm mad, that Scorpio energy, I'm laying down, I'm upset, I'm mad. He's not, he's just calm and like I told y'all, very spiritual. He went to go and center him, himself, right? So he lit sage on my ass. <laughs> I'm laying in his bed. I'm laying in his bed, right? And I'm mad and I want to be mad because I'm a Scorpio and or I'm who I'm, I'm who I am. And I want to be mad and I want to sit in and I want to be able to see my way through this. Right? Because I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm smelling the sage. I'm getting all happy, <laughs> excited, like feeling good. And I have to come into the living room. You know, like I said, he was centering himself. Um, And I'm like, ooh, you fight dirty. Ooh, you fight dirty. You can't be lighting no sage with no spiritual person because you know it's going to work. <laughs> he was like, not today, Satan. <laughs> not today, not ever. But yeah, that's what... <laughs> Lord. Anyway, I had to tell y'all that story. Even under the right circumstances, and I feel like he's the right person for me, so I'm like really excited to see what our, our future looks like. Because every single spread that we do, because he's done spread, I've done spreads. Every single spread, it seems amazing. 
This card also denotes a release. If you're suppressed, if you suppress or bottle painful memories or grudges for long, do consider the consequences. All that you've kept hidden inside will burst out and outcome, and the outcome will not be pretty. And so, because of that, I feel like this is you may end up not liking this person because they're not making the necessary changes that you need um Scorpio to build a, a better relationship for the two of you it's like you're always bringing up my faults but where are you changing where are you changing within you when I'm making the same observations and saying um and 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 announcing to you or um giving you points about some things that you could change within you. How come you are not doing that? How come you're not reciprocating the same energy that I'm giving you or the same respect that I'm giving you um, to your person, uh, Scorpio, is what you could be, is what you could be uh, 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 saying. So I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to clarify the tower. So if you're just telling me to go to this card, this was seen or is seen as a bonus card. So I'm going to go to that card in a second, but I want to clarify the tower with this deck and see what other information they have for it, okay? By the way, I really do love you guys so freaking dang on much. I just needed you to know that. You guys have been amazing. I appreciate all of the support um, when it came down to my mom. Yes, it still hurts. Yes, it feels weird. Yes, yes, yes. If you love your mother and you live ways and days and, and hours away, go spend that time with your mother. Spend that money, that extra income. I mean, that uh, extra uh, coin to go spend time with your mother. Go do it. Now, y'all know I went back and forth to New Jersey when she was sick. Back and forth, back and forth, in and out, back and forth, back and forth. You couldn't stop me from going to see my mother when I found out she had cancer. But it wasn't the cancer that took her. So, yeah. All right, Scorpio, here we go. And she was a Scorpio. For those of you that are new, she was a Scorpio too. Magnetic attraction. So this person may run unfinished business and ghosted because they may not be ready. I don't even know what these cards are yet, but they may not be ready for, um, for, uh, uh, this sort of changes that you need them to make. So I do feel like that you guys are going to come back together or you will get some closure in this situation soon. And that's the reason why Spirit is bringing this message up or this reading out, um, you guys. Truth, see? Between the lines and spiritual awakening, I told you. I feel like you've done your work. If you, are, if you haven't completed your work, you've started it already. And I feel like that's the reason why the hanging one is sitting there at the bottom of the deck. Now, it does feel like to me with the spiritual awakening, they're go. Excuse me, I was drinking water and eating grapes. They're going to have an 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 um um an epiphany and enlightenment, um, a rebirth. But once they do, that doesn't mean that spirit. I feel like spirit is one of you. Remember, the tower can also represent a warning too. I feel like once they have their um, spiritual awakening, that doesn't mean that they're going to come towards you. They can, may have their spiritual awakening and have an epiphany and realize that you're not the one for them. Um, and it's time for you guys to go your separate ways. Okay. So I do feel like you're going to have a, um, uh, this won't be a situation that's not, um, open like you won't you won't have uh, um, uh you'll have closure here a new love hookup and then secret crush all right so i feel like they're getting into something else so i'm gonna leave that alone but yeah that's what i'm getting here uh scorpio so brace yourself for this is is what i'm getting so they're telling me to flip over this card so i am ten of wands see you started to feel to me the heaviness of the relationship and 
I also feel like you felt you, you started to feel the roles that you played in it being a burden too. So I feel like that's why you had to sit and really listen to what this person was saying to you so that you can change it. And so that it doesn't start to continue. It doesn't, excuse me, not start to so that it doesn't continue to feel like it is um, uh, a, a burden on or you being the reason why it's a burden um scorpio that's what i'm getting so they're telling me to flip this over so i am so if you didn't feel passionate about this person or felt like you still had some passion in there or uh, this person still plays a role in your life and spirit is saying also for yourself so that means you love yourself and that's amazing to hear um, also for yourself, you would have never hit the changes or made the changes that you need in order for, um, in order for you guys to look at, uh, to have a better future. All right. So yeah, see, and <laughs> I don't make this up. Look at this. This card says changes. As long as it like clear up. And well, you can kind of see it. It says changes and this is the will of fortune. So spirit is saying to tell you that they're very proud of you and the steps that you've made to um, to better yourself. So they're very proud of you. And spirit is saying, we see you because they're showing me eyeballs. They're like, we see you, we see you. So Scorp Scorpio, whatever path, whatever changes you decided to make on your own and with this person's voice in your ear and your guides in your ear, they're very proud of the choices that you're making. So don't let, if if this person decides to not change or be a part of your life in the future, don't let that hinder you. Okay, so that's the message I'm getting from that. They're telling me to turn this one over. So you have the page of cups here. So in your pocket is, is, this, is the um, first message I got. Um, so this would be, somebody that will come in your life if this doesn't work i got in your pocket so i'm going to clarify this card in a second okay and the page of pentacles so if you're willing to wait so they're talking about your person now with this page of pentacles if you're willing to wait on your person and it's going to be waiting some of you at least two years if you're willing to wait for your person they're going to make the changes that you need this is not for all of you spirit is showing me a handful so this won't be for all of you they're going to make the necessary changes that's needed for you um scorpio okay so If you're wanting to wait, that's here. But if you're not wanting to wait, you have the page of cups, which speaks, which is speaking on a new love. All right, Scorpio, for those of you that want to stay, here is me clarifying. I'm using the um, Carol and Wonderland deck. I'm clarifying for the new, and then we'll get into the... Um, the the ex i'm not ex excuse me the um, present person okay so i heard a lot of blah 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 while looking at the ten of wands over here you guys can't see it while looking at the ten of wands over there okay blah 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 I don't know when I do your other one, I'll bring the cards over a little bit more. Sorry about that, you guys. So we're looking at the page of cups this morning for Scorpio. The seven of cups. So you have options. I told you. Spirit don't play around when they give me the messages for you guys. All right. So the seven of cups represents the options. You can choose. Yes, it's all for you. If you want to, there's your new beginning with the full card here and the four of pentacles. 
you also have the empress energy here at the bottom of the deck so they're not going to tell me too much but what they are saying is if you chose this new person this person would feel some sort of a way and they would eventually try to come in and mess this up because they want you back they would want you back too all right so yeah third three of swords try to mess that up okay so we're looking at your person and changing okay so spirit can you tell them a little bit more about this person and them waiting for this person to change and how they would behave if scorpio decided to stay and wait on them The Knight of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Five of Wands. I told you they would fight you tooth and nail. The World, the Seven of Swords. So that would be fake running away. And this is them working on themselves and realizing that they had to. Judgment, them trying to get another chance with you. You're deciding you don't know if you want to let them back in or not. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, the Emperor, Scorpio. Because this came out the way that it did, I would tell you, don't wait. Go to this. You wouldn't want to anyway. The, it would be better off. This person would know it too. The last minute will get people in trouble all the time, waiting for the last minute to make the changes. Here's a 10 of wands. It's like, I'm making the changes. I'm doing the things that you asked me to do. It's a little too late now, you know? That's the message that I'm getting from this. All right, I'm gonna show you the next three. I'm gonna let you go and do another one. Ace of Pentacles, Hierophant, and the habit card. So they had you and lost you because they wouldn't change their habits. Because they wouldn't do the things that they needed to do to keep you is what I'm getting. But you decided to do. And so you say, yeah, you decided to do some of them at the last minute too. That's not for all of you. But you know if it's for you or not. All right, you guys. I will speak with you later. Message.